Welcome to the second lecture of value creation. In this lecture, we will talk about the triple P business model canvas. In the first lecture, we discussed the regular business model canvas. I hope you now practiced somewhat with that model because we're going to expand on it and try to discover the people, planet and profit side we can discover with this uh, business model canvas. Also, last time I um, recommended to you to use the MOM test and the AdLib value proposition. I hope you already practiced with it because you can use everything in this lecture also to sharpen your MOM test and to sharpen the AdLib value proposition. In this lecture, we will see that people, planet and profit can be together at the heart of your company. It does not need to be just profit. Determine your most critical assumptions. We talked about it in the last lecture also. It's very important to find what critical assumptions you have to validate and to be sure that you in the end have a product that fits a customer. Validation is not something you will do alone. You can do alone. You need expertise of others. You need expertise from your team. So make sure that you discuss this validation problem together with your team. So the business model canvas. This canvas you have worked with now and we're going to expand it. So we're going to make three business model canvases. The one you have worked with so far was the profit canvas. Now we're also going to use the people and the planet canvas. The profit canvas is all about your revenue models and your reinvestment models. So how will you invest the revenue again in your company? And is about the strategic partners you need for your company to exist. The Planet Canvas will focus more on generated waste and on the percentage you have recycled. More on focused on environmental goals. Um, the People Canvas is focused on people, on society governance, transparency of what you are doing, um, regional engagement and the impact you have on the people around you. So by adding the people and the um, environmental side to your business model canvas, um, you layer or stack these business model canvases together. They become your business as a whole. So try to incorporate all your aspects of your business and uh, order them in the social, environmental and profitable level. Here the economic layer, the layer you are already familiar with. Um, the critical questions that are on this slide, I would recommend them for you to read them very quickly. The second layer is the environmental layer. So here you see the environmental model. In the middle of this canvas, you don't see value proposition, you see functional value. So what's the functional value of your enterprise within the ecosystem? Please have a good look at this canvas. Um, on the next slide, there will be uh, pointed out critical questions that you have to ask yourself. Is my business um, actively engaging these questions and what questions are most important for you. So grab pen and paper, grab some post-its and start to work with this model. So the third layer of your business model is the societal layer. Here you see that the societal value is in the center of the canvas and that in every uh, uh, element of this canvas people are central. Try to think of the social benefits and social impacts you have. Try to minimize impacts and try to create the benefits, just like the cost and revenue model in the uh, for-profit layer. In the next slide, again, there will be many critical questions. Um, read them thoroughly and try to work with them. Ask, the que ask these questions to your team members, grab a pen and paper, post-its and work it out. So we just discussed these three different layers of your business model. Um, you might notice that there is a lot of societal influence on these three business models, um, three canvases in one business model. Um, this image, the business model environment, tries to map the greatest forces that are active on your business. At the top you see the key trends and they have the largest impact on your 
uh, key activities and on your key uh, way of reaching your customer. For example, the trend of social media is very important to determine what are your key marketing activities and how are you using this trend. At the bottom of your canvas, uh, on the cost and revenue side, there are the macroeconomic forces that are uh, impacting your business. Uh, it might happen to be uh, a crisis in a certain industry. It might happen that uh, a war is happening somewhere. These are all macroeconomic trends that have influence on the robustness of your business. Try to figure out how to come up with a model, a revenue model on the one side and a cost model on the other side, that is robust and resilient. Don't worry, this is something we did not really discuss yet. We'll discuss this in the next lecture. There are two more forces on the left and on the right side of your business model canvas. Um, market forces influence your uh, customers mainly. So this might be uh, uh, segments of a market. This might be uh, people having uh, willing to spend a lot of money on certain gadgets because it's hip or willing to spend uh, not so much money because it's just food. These are trends for your customer to really understand before you can enter the world as a business. On the other side, there are industry forces that really influence your key partners. Your, uh, a major trend right now is that um, many suppliers, for example, wish to be more sustainable or do annual sustainable reporting. And this is a trend you might want to use with your key partners if you propose collaboration. So until now, you've been working hard and learned a lot. Hopefully you've also discussed a lot with your teammates. Hopefully you've been using these three business model canvases, you've been using the mom test and the AdLib failure proposition to practice and to um, um, enhance your creative process in creating your company and start to realize that you are going to create value for a certain target audience. Um, I can imagine that you are now overwhelmed by the amount of information I've given you and that you're also quite insecure about the things you have filled in in your uh, different canvases. I now want to help you prioritize. I want you to prioritize on these uh, assumptions you made that are most critical to your business. Some assumptions you made in the social, in the environmental and in the profit canvas are key to your company. Try to start with this exercise. Lay down the three business model canvases and use post-its to fill them out. Now try to remove as many post-its as you can without the core of your company disappearing. When you've been doing that, and be thorough, so you can only leave two or three post-its on every canvas. These are your key critical assumptions. Now, the next step is to determine what is most important for the survival of your company. Are these the social values? Are these the environmental values? Or are these the profit values? Um, together, the tools I've been giving you are creative tools. So use them as creative tools. The canvas I am showing you now is about your team trying to prioritize the right things in the right order. So make joint objectives. Figure out these key critical post-it notes on your different canvases and turn them into objectives. For instance, we need to know if people want to buy our leafy greens from our aquaponic system. We need to know if people want to eat uh, what, type, what type of fish, what people want to eat and what our target customer is. Um, and then turn them into joint objectives. These joint objectives you can translate into joint commitments. So me and him together will figure out if this objective is true or not. Then you need to figure out what are the key resources you need to really figure it out or to realize this objective you had in the first place. And in the end, figure out what are the risks. What if we invest this and this amount of money uh, and what will happen if we fail? In this lecture, hopefully you have seen that people, planet and profit can be together at the heart of your business. They can compete with each other, 
but they also each have their different type of value. Make sure that you find out for each different canvas, environmental, uh, social and profitable, which assumptions are critical to your company. And when you have done that, together as a team, try to validate the assumptions that you made in this canvas. Um, by validating, use the mom test. Make sure you ask the right, right questions to the right people. And also use the AdLib value proposition to shape your story. Thank you very much. See you in the next lecture.